so we're getting to a point where Reem is just kind of showing off. The new Ultra Streamer has a three and a half inch touchscreen. Okay. It also has HDMI input. Also has a new 9038 Sabre DAC chip in it. Also has digital outs, digital in, phono stage, analog input. Has all the regular stuff like bass management, but they've gone one step further at this point. They have room correction now. Obviously this thing has just been announced, so I have no idea how it works, if it's any good, but if there are previous products or any indication, this thing is basically gonna be a game changer. And they've already been disrupting the industry when it comes to streamers. So you have everything that you need at this point. You have Chromecast, you have AirPlay 2, you even have Bluetooth if you want it. And you got a really great streaming platform. Frankly, the best streaming platform out there. I have heard that this is gonna be coming in at $360. I actually heard it was gonna be $330, which is simply bananas at this point, because what else do you need? After you get this, you don't really need anything else. Because it's basically, it is a preamp. It's a digital preamp and an analog preamp, and you can hook up whatever amplifier you want. They also came out with fundamentally the same thing. It just also has an amplifier in it. Now, a lot of people have been pooping all over the Weem amp. So I'm assuming that they're probably gonna poop on the Weem Ultra amp as well. But for most people in most situations in most rooms, it's a game changer. You have a touch screen. I remember doing one of the early Weem no, it wasn't the ring. Yeah, I think it was the first Weem Pro review. And I said, if this thing has a touch screen, put a touch screen on it and charge $500, charge $600, and I'd buy it. Now they have a touch screen on it and they're charging less than $400. I mean, that is just bananas. You can't even get a regular blue sound for 600 bucks. I think that's what it is, $600 for a blue sound. Look at this, look how beautiful it is. Oh, by the way, I'm in Italy. I'm going to be doing some cool videos from Italy for about the next week or so about brands that you probably haven't heard of, but you really need to hear about them. You need to hear their story because our hobby is replete with fundamentally interchangeable products. And these are, I wouldn't say one of a kind, but these are products that have soul. These are products that aren't gonna be on the shelves of every person that you see. Some are affordable, some are expensive, but they're all gonna be unique, and I imagine they're all gonna be awesome in their own way. Q Acoustics also came out with a new affordable line, 3000C loudspeaker series from Q Acoustics. They're the most affordable line from Q, and I am really excited to get my ears on a pair of these because if there's any trickle-down technology from the 5000 series, if they can, I don't know, bring a little bit of that 5000 series sound down to the 3000 series, I think this is gonna be a game changer because I could appreciate the previous 3000 series, both of them, the 3000, the 3000i, I could always tell that, hey, I get it. I get why people like this speaker. But with the 5000 series, it just seems like those speakers had a little bit more soul, a little bit more dynamic, 
a little bit more character and if they can bring that down to the 3000 series they have got a winner i think the two-way five and a quarter inch bookshelves are coming in at 4.99 a pair basically the whole line is coming in around four to five hundred dollars less than what the 5000 series is coming in at. and the cool thing is is that a lot of times those 3000 series do go on sale after they've been out for a while so chances are this is going to be a super affordable way to get into the q series now the jury's still out because i've actually got to listen to these things before i make any judgment but at this point q acoustics just hasn't put out any duds and the stuff that really isn't my flavor, isn't my preference, is still good and I can still appreciate it for what it is. Look at this. This is just absolutely bananas. I have never seen, well, I've been to Rome before, but man, this just takes your breath away. You can't, you can't even look at everything. You can't even begin to see everything here, all the detail. Even just their brick columns are way cooler than our brick columns. Ah, uh, Venice. I wish I was here with Indiana Jones when he found one of the Knights of the Templar and he found a treasure map on top of the shield. However, I think I'm gonna get to go to Rome. And so I'm gonna get to do stuff, some Da Vinci Code stuff, I think. At least that's what I was told. I think it can't be overstated about how great of a value all this weem stuff has been now we have something with a touch screen that has a decent DAC in it i have no doubts it's going to sound awesome for 360 dollars so who can reasonably compete with that i know cambridge has an awesome DAC the cxn i believe 10 it is comes in around 500 dollars. a little bit long in the tooth though and obviously doesn't have a touch screen so it's not going to display album art their next their next streamer is a thousand dollars the touchscreen nothing has a touchscreen outside of something like which is based off of volumio there's not a product that has a really solid ui and it's really stable ui that has a screen right now i just think this thing's a game changer i mean everything they put out has been a game changer but this especially and with the amp too amazing amazing bye venice I hope to return soon. I didn't even get anything to eat. I'll go buy soda though.